Bo, it's Alisa from Photobox Designs. I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to use this template, which is a Photobox uh, frame or a border, a digital border that you can place um, any, any square image into, including any square Photobox design. Um, so if you have a nine box, a four box, a one box. You can put any image that is square shape into this template. But what I wanna show you is how you can easily change the color of the text and the color of the borders. So the text you can see right now is inside of this, this folder. And the folder, folder's pretty elaborate. I've made it so that you have the top, the bottom, the right side, and the left side all separated into different folders. And then you can open up each folder individually. And inside each folder individually, you also have uh, the text itself. And you can find links to the text to download it for free. Uh, I can't guarantee you that the text will always be free. Um, if you if it's not free anymore, because I didn't design the text and I'm not selling it in this template, I'm just, uh, if you need to change the wording on it and the text is not available, then you can change the, the font to something that um, is pretty close to it, or you can always change the font to anything you want. So you'll see here that each word is individual, as and that is the same for all of the fonts. And um, so I'm going to... And on the top one, you'll also see, and actually it shouldn't be here, but this is inside the top is included hearts. You'll see here that it says hearts. It is just, um, I'm actually going to pull it out. So when you actually get your template, you're going to probably see it on top. Um, I'll put it right there. Hearts just, no, sorry. I'm putting it back in there. Silly me. I had it in there for a reason. Uh, hearts are inside the folder. It's important because the text effect colors will also be affect the hearts as long as they are inside this text folder. So I'm going to keep hearts in here. If you shut off the hearts, you'll see it shuts off all the hearts in this border, except for some of them, which seem to be a different layer. Mm -hmm. um, so what you're going to do here is in order to change the text effects, you'll see that I've already put in color overlay, color overlay, pattern overlay. Right now, there is a gold pattern overlay. If I shut it off, you're gonna see that all the text is white because that's what I typed with. So now I'm gonna turn on the color overlay and that actually turned all the text to black, which obviously we don't want. So I'm gonna turn that one off. I'm gonna click the second overlay and that is the white color, okay? So I have black, white, and pattern and the pattern is gold if you want to go in and you want to change this color to anything else you're just going to double click on the word effects and it's going to pull up this dialog and you can go into color overlay click on that and click into that folder so where it says color overlay and you'll see here it says blend mode normal and then you go into the color picker and you pick out a color that you want to change it to you press okay and now you'll see it has been added to the effects dialog and of course the top one is the one that's showing i turned everything red if i turn that back off goes to white i turned on white and off it turned to gold um, so I had turned our black, if we think about that now, what I had done was, silly me, I turned your black into red. But I'm gonna do this one more time and show you something different that you can do. Double click on the effects, go back in there. Instead of changing the red one, I can press the plus sign and now I can add a color overlay and go here, maybe I'll make this one yellow, press okay, okay, and now I have, yellow, which is on top, turning that off. I'll have red, which is the one we changed the black into, which I will bring it back for you for the template. And then I've got my gold, okay? And that's how you can change this to whatever color you want. You can even add strokes. You can play with anything inside this effect layer. 
you're going to do the same thing for the border color. Okay. Right now the border color is black, but if you turn on the first color overlay, you'll see that I had added a white color overlay. I'm going to turn on the second one. You're going to see that it's not going to do anything because the white is turned on. I'm going to turn off that top color overlay and now it's purple. All right. You can do the exact same thing. Go back into color, go back into effects, double click on it, press plus sign on the color overlay and now add a different color. Maybe you want this blue and now you have this color. And then all you have to do is toggle through the different color overlays or keep adding color overlays. It's very easy. And then you can do the same thing with the text effects. You could change the color of the effects. Very simple and easy way to mix and match your colors on the both the text and the layers. So I hope that makes sense. And remember, you can put any image. You just have to make sure that when you bring your image into Photoshop, place it on the bottom. I put I made a folder, it says your image here, but truthfully, all you need to do is keep it under the last color overlay and above your images here. It doesn't even have to go in this folder. And as long as it's underneath this, you'll be fine. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.